Welcome to this video on Pyronis disease. Today we'll be talking about Zyflex treatment. My name is Dr. Ryan Flanagan, I'm a urologist and microsurgeon trained in male reproduction and sexual medicine. So Zyflex or collagenase injections are currently the most effective non-surgical treatment to reduce penile curvature in men that have Pyronis disease. So how does it work? Well, we know that Pyronis disease is a result of excessive scar or collagen formation that's deposited in the outer uh, membrane that contains the erectile tissue within the penis. The scar formation doesn't expand and is not elastic. So when a man gets an erection, this section doesn't expand as much as the, the other side of the penis. This often results in a curvature or other forms of deformity. The Zyflex medication is composed of two enzymes. These enzymes target different regions in the collagen strands breaking it down and thereby breaking down the plaque. By breaking down the plaque, this adds length uh, to that side of the penis and results in decreasing the degree of curvature that's associated. So what does the medical literature have to say about Zyflex treatment and the effectiveness? Well, the biggest trials came from what's called the IMPRESS 1 and 2 studies. These are basically two phase three randomized controlled trials comparing the collagenase or Zyflex treatment to a placebo, which they use normal saline. The treatment consisted of four sets of two injections. The two injections were three days apart and each set was approximately six weeks apart. After the injections, the penis was modeled, meaning that it was bent the opposite direction of the curve by the physician after each set. During these modeling sessions, the penis was held in the opposite direction for about 30 seconds and this was repeated for three sets at a time. When we looked at the results, what they found was that the collagenase treatment group had a curve reduction of about 17 degrees or 34%, depends how we want to look at it. This compared to the placebo group, which was about 9.3 degree curve reduction or 18%, even though there was no medication in it. There was also a significant reduction in the bother uh, symptom index when patients were questioned and surveyed regarding the amount of bother they have regarding their curvature. Over 60% of the Zyflex users had an improvement in their overall Pyronis disease related quality of life compared to only about 30% amongst those receiving the placebo. Were there side effects? Absolutely. With any treatment, there can certainly be some side effects. The most common one was penile bruising. This happened in about 80% of the men receiving the injections. Swelling occurred in just over 50% and pain in just under 50%. Uh, there were some other uh, complications. The most notable one that's significant and definitely worthwhile to know about is something called a penile fracture. This occurs when the outer membrane that the scar is deposited in splits open and essentially ruptures, allowing some of the blood in the erection chambers to escape. Usually the penis becomes very swollen, very bruised, and we commonly refer to it in medicine as an eggplant deformity, where it looks like an eggplant because of the change in color and the change in size. Typically, if this was to occur, uh, we would have to surgically correct it. However, in these cases, the patients did not receive surgical correction and did quite well. It happened in just under 1% of the patient population and always seemed to occur amongst men performing sexual activity within two weeks of the injections. Since that time, uh, there was one case report that was studied that an individual had a penile fracture within four weeks of receiving the injection with sexual activity. As a result, the FDA came up with a statement requesting that men undergoing Zyflex injections should not partake in sexual activity for about four weeks following each injection. The photos in the screen here, as you can see, the top one demonstrates a, a typical baseline upwards curve uh, that was comparable to the men entering the study on average. After the treatment, about a 33% improvement in the curve results in the bottom picture and this is just a, uh, an image to demonstrate common expectations of what a man can expect for a before picture versus an after picture with an average response to the Zyflex. Since this time, there's been several other studies that have been reported. This one particular study that was published in 2017, they use a different injection protocol. And essentially here, they use a full dose of medication that comes in the vial, 0.9 milligrams, compared to the 0.58 milligrams. And instead of doing the eight injections, they only did three injections. So they performed one of these injections per month for three months. What they found was that the results were quite similar 
compared to the initial impress studies. Although they didn't compare the two different protocols, this certainly provides some evidence that using a higher dose less frequently, decreasing time for the patients coming into the office, decreasing costs with the medications and the injection fees seems to have a pretty similar uh, impact. Further studies are going to be needed to validate this, but this is certainly a common approach being used by Canadian urologists presently. Another study since the initial trials came out published on the basis of the calcification status of the plaque. So in most men that have pyronius disease, the plaque is composed of scar tissue or collagen. In some individuals though, there is calcification that sets in within the plaque. We think it's a specific difference in the subtype or the phenotype of the plaque, but regardless, in these individuals that have calcification within the plaque, it's very rigid. This study shows that amongst these men with the calcifications, the response rate to the Zyaflex is significantly lower. It's the lowest amongst men with complete calcification, and there's a reduction in the effectiveness if there's partial calcification. So as a result, the conclusion here is that it's probably important to perform an ultrasound of the plaque prior to committing to the Zyaflex injections. What the ultrasound does is it gives us the ability to look at the plaque and we can determine if there's calcifications in it or not based on the ultrasound image. Another interesting study that just got published in 2019 was the addition of a penile traction device called the Restorex device, which basically provides straight penile traction and then allows for angulation, meaning that you can counter bend the penis or bend the penis opposite the direction of the initial curve when it's in the soft state. So this study was retrospective, meaning that they treated all these patients and then they looked back on the data to look at the outcomes. So it's not the highest quality study, but nonetheless, the results are quite interesting. So in this study, what they did was they performed these collagenase or Zyflex injections at the point of maximal curvature, which is in accordance with all the previous protocols. However, they used the 0.9 milligrams, so the full dose uh, compared to the initial 0.58 milligrams in the original IMPRESS-1 and IMPRESS-2 studies. They had three different arms. So they had men that just received the Zyflex medication along with the modeling. So using your hands, bending the penis the opposite direction of the initial curve. They had a second group where they performed the Zyflex injections and they used a typical penile traction device that pulled the penis straight away from the body. And the third group included men receiving Zyflex injections with the Restorex device that provided straight traction as well as angulated traction opposite the direction of the curve. What they found was that the men receiving the Zyflex injections with the Restorex device providing traction straight and angulated against the direction of the original curve had a significantly greater improvement in curve reduction. What they found here was as about 33.8 degrees or about 49% curve reduction compared to 20 degrees or 44% in the original group or 19 degrees uh, in the group receiving the Zyflex injections with traction alone. They also found that the stretched penile length, so if you pull the penis away from the body, also increased by about 1.9 centimeters, which was significantly different than the other two groups. These are certainly interesting results to provide the rationale of doing the Zyflex injections along with the traction with the angulated traction against the initial curve. Certainly future studies are gonna be needed to validate these results and ensure that they're reproducible at other centers as well, but it's very interesting. So if you're about to undergo Zyflex injection treatment, what goes on prior to the injection? Typically there's an office appointment where we'll evaluate the degree of the curve as well as the location of the curve. To do this, you'll receive an injection of an agent to induce an erection in the office. After this, we typically make measurements of the degree of curve using what's called a goniometer. We also measure the point of maximal curvature. So we usually use the reference point of the edge of the head of the penis and we measure back from that. And that location of the maximal curve, we, we record this and we use this information to direct the future uh, position of the injections with the Zyflex because this is the point that we want to target with the medication to reduce the curve. At the same time, I always put an ultrasound probe on the plaque 
to characterize the plaque and determine if there's calcifications or not, because this might change the direction of our management if we decide to continue with Zyaflex injections, or if there might be uh, a different option that we would consider if it's truly calcified. During the injection, most men prefer freezing. The common protocol initially was no freezing, but in my experience, I find most men are more comfortable with freezing, and we certainly start there. Once the penis is frozen, we'll do an injection with the Zyaflex medication at the point of maximal curvature. So as I mentioned, we previously recorded this distance. We'll measure back by stretching the penis and using a ruler and putting a mark where this point of curvature is. And at that point is where we make the injection with the Zyaflex into the plaque itself. So this is typically right on the outer portion of the layer that contains the erectile tissue and as the treating physician we're feeling for resistance when the needle is going in as well as resistance in injecting the medication in and these are our two indicators to let us know that we're injecting in the correct location following the injection we typically recommend whole modeling so in this case we ask you after you receive the injections the day following you stretch the penis and bend it opposite the direction of the curve. And you hold it in that position for approximately 30 seconds at a time, and you repeat that two additional times. Once you perform this, we typically recommend that you continue to repeat the modeling and the stretching and bending the opposite direction multiple times in the day. And I usually say, just do it at the same time that you're going to go to the restroom. You go to the bathroom, do the stretches at that time, and then that way you won't forget to do them. I also typically recommend using the angulated traction therapy, that Restorex device, based upon the information available so far, that this might actually provide a significant improvement in the response to the Zyflex treatment. When you receive the injection for the Zyflex treatment, this breaks down that scar tissue and dissolves some of it, and it gives us the opportunity for you to stretch that scar tissue and lengthen it and this is what's going to be helpful in reducing your curve. I also typically recommend abstaining from any sexual activity for four weeks following the injection, which is based on the FDA regulation. So I always get a question about the number of Zyflex injections required in my office. So there's typically two treatment protocols. We could use the original eight injection protocol that the uh, original randomized control trials use. So four sets of two injections, or four cycles of two injections, we often refer to it as. And each of the two injections within the cycle, we typically space about one week apart. The alternative option is that we use a higher dose, the full 0.9 milligrams, and we do an injection once per month for three or four months. Regarding expectations on how well is this IFLEX gonna work for me? With any form of treatment, there's definitely variability in response. So we're gonna have a lot of men that have a typical response based on the averages reported in the medical literature. And then we're gonna have some men that perform even better than this. And we're gonna have some men that don't perform as well as this. So this is always important to keep in mind when we're pursuing any of these treatments. Our goal here is to aim for improvement and regaining function, but it's very unlikely that we're gonna end up in a curative situation or we're gonna end up with a perfectly straight penis. So that's incredibly important to know ahead of time to ensure that we're on the same page uh, with respect to treatment outcomes. The goal is if we can get the curve to be reduced and maybe regain some stretch penile length, that this might reintroduce some function back into your life and make it much easier to engage in sexual encounters. There hasn't been a lot of research on use of Zyflex uh, injections to treat narrowing indentations or hourglass deformities. So this is something that's difficult to comment on. Anecdotally, some men have commented that it might be improved. However, I don't have any medical data that's been reported in the literature, to my knowledge, that comments on this being the case. So in summary, Zyflex treatment is among the most effective non-surgical treatments for Pyronis disease associated penile curvature. Medication targets the scar tissue, the collagen plaque, that's responsible for the curve. And our goal of treatment is to reduce the amount of curvature, regain some function with respect to um, the erections. Treatment typically involves using four or eight injections and a combination of penile modeling and possibly the angulated traction 
to try to achieve our optimal results. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information, feel free to visit my website or the YouTube channel listed here and my Twitter handle below. Thanks very much.